2013, the Xbox One was revealed at the E3 game show. Along with the DRM policy, which sparked up controversy amongst gamers against Microsoft and the Xbox One. Jack Tretton, former president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment of America, capitalized on this situation, nearly destroying the Xbox One before its release. Play audio file. We're equally focused on delivering what gamers want most, without imposing restrictions or devaluing their PS4 purchases. For instance, PlayStation 4 won't impose any new restrictions on the use of PS4 games. That's a good thing. <laughs> we believe in the model that people embrace today with PlayStation 3 and continue to demand. Just heard you there. When a gamer buys a PS4 disc, they have the rights to use that copy of the game. They can trade in the game at retail, sell it to another person, lend it to a friend, or keep it forever. After that announcement, Jack Trenton has won all gamers' hearts. And also with the announcement of the PS4 being $399, Xbox One didn't have a chance. In July of 2014, PlayStation 4 has released an app called PlayStation Now. It's a streaming video game app that allows players to rent video games for as high as $22 every three months. EA also in July 2014 offered PlayStation a proposal of an app of their own that allowed gamers to download games for a one-time price to keep forever. Being that this app was going to affect Sony Entertainment America's PlayStation Now, they rejected EA's offer. Okay, so you probably wonder where I'm going with all of this. If Sony's PlayStation Now develops successfully, then you could be in a similar situation that Xbox One DRM was going to offer the game. It's quite clear. They already overcharge you, and you can't keep the games to own. This is something that Xbox One reversed because gamers were so upset with that with what the DRM was proposing now the PlayStation 4 is giving you something similar and you're actually buying it but you don't see the resemblance there's something wrong so how does Sony pull off something similar that Xbox One almost had gotten destroyed over why doesn't the gamer see what's happening right now? Some do, but most don't. And yeah, a lot of you are buying from PlayStation now, excuse me, renting. And I find it strange, like how does Sony bypass your senses on this? Now being that this is actually doing okay, there's a possibility that in the future, Sony may pull a similar DRM, maybe even a little worse. See, everything starts with a test. And if the gamer flows with it, and they don't have a problem, 
they're going to expand on it. The next thing you know it, you're not going to be buying your games from GameStop no more. You're going to be renting what you want to play. And that's exactly what's going to end up happening. Seven video game conspiracy power one.